Rangde Basanti happened right. uh, with Rakesh Mehra again. That shot you into adulation, fame, stardom. Then I think Rangde Basanti was what brought you really out in the public eye. People started knowing who Kunal Kapoor was, and still a massive fan of the work that you did in, in that movie. I'll not go into the depth of. what it what enough has been said and written about the movie it is a cult it is a classic i right. want to know about how you handled the adulation and fame that accompanied the success of rangde basanti people would hound you or what how did your life change beyond yeah. that well, it was strange actually honestly it was obviously something that i wasn't used to hmm. uh, uh, for a long time i felt like it wasn't for me it was for somebody else and you know i i, yeah. I found a disconnect between myself and Yeah, the imposter the syndrome, na? People na? reaching out to and asking for autographs and pictures. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it took me some time to get used to the idea of it. Hmm. Uh, it wasn't some, you know, some people are born and for like being in the center of attention. Spotlight, and, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. And they enjoy the adulation, and it just hmm. comes, you know, they take it very naturally. For me, it was a, it was a bit of a, uh, it was a bit sometimes a bit of a strange out of body experience, and it took okay. me some time getting used to it. how long did it take you to say that yeah this is my life now this is how people are going to react to me yeah. and i should get used to it now and i feel normal in this well i don't know there was no time limit but yeah like i'm saying it sort of took me some time to reach that place which is that okay this is life and you know this is how it's going to be and uh, uh you know let's let's get used to it and for i mean at that point of time in which is like 13 14 years back hmm. um it was very different from how it is now true 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 you know true. Uh, you didn't have paparazzi like you have yeah, now you don't have yeah, yeah. you didn't have social media instagram like, pe har second ka update nahi aa raha yeah you didn't have selfies it was a very different uh, sort yeah. of sort of uh, i want to say world but yeah this this whole space was quite different and than it is now so it, it took me some time to get used to it i mean i, I don't there's no time frame like that hmm. but yeah uh, for for it to feel like sort of okay This is this is going to be my life now. Nice, uh, Kunal. One awesome. movie I want to talk to you about is Love Shabte Chicken Khurana. I mean, right. I have personally seen that movie thrice. I loved it so much. Thank And you. Uh, do you think it was ahead of its time? I mean, if What a, what a weird and wonderful concept <laughs> of, of a movie. I mean, I went into watching the movie with no expectations and. my mind was blown with the climax <laughs> <laughs> what is it an indian movie that is taking such bold steps i was expecting a sequel man so the end where uh, i i'm not sure who played the character the the one you were running away from in the very beginning turns Correct. up at, at okay. the climax i was expecting a sequel i wanted a sequel was do you feel it was ahead of its time because it does still does not get the adulation it should get amazing music amazing performances amazing concept Well, I don't know about ahead of its time. I, I feel like it could have got a better release for sure. Mm. I, I feel like it didn't get the release that it deserved because it got squashed in between a lot of very big films. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you know, it didn't get the sort of space that it I feel deserved because even now, which is like eight years later, yeah, uh, I meet so many people that love the film. Yeah, uh, you know, they talk about how it was a really special film, and for us, it was a very special film to make because me and the director Samir, uh, we've been friends for a long time and. uh you know we have a lot of family from punjab i spent a lot of time in punjab growing up so has he and the punjab that we saw was very different from the punjab in the movies yeah, yeah. Uh, the yeah, people yeah. that we saw around us were very different from yeah yeah, uh, yeah. the punjabis in in the hindi films yeah. you know uh, so we wanted to bring that punjab on the screen and yeah. uh, that's how we started writing the film and uh, so yeah it was a film that was very special to us and uh, i'm very happy that people still like enjoy it uh, we A sequel is not something that we thought of. Uh, there's okay. some other stuff that we're working on, which will be as I won't say bizarre, but as out <laughs> of the box. <laughs> uh, that's uh, you know that's the story of it is quite quite unique. The music would have been a rage at this time. I'm telling mm -hmm. you. So if back then I had Motorwada as my ringtone for like years, I loved that. Was that. Great. The music uh, was great. Amazing music. Luni Hasi. I I think it was very one of the very first few songs that Harshdeep Kaur also sang. Uh, Looney Hasi was such a beautiful, amazing soundtrack. The I can't. Uh, also, I I feel like for Amit, uh, 
he uh, it was it was something very different from what he had done before yeah, uh, yeah. i remember amit actually went and travel through punjab hmm. for a month uh, to pick up different sounds for the film yeah because he awesome. felt like he had reached a place where he wanted to do something which was completely different hmm. uh, and uh, you know he uh, i think he really sort of reinvented himself with lakshya pishkin kurana i still listen to it a number of times